Wani X Handy. Yes. Congratulations. You are the winners of the Custodian Challenge. <laughs> There's a difference between celebrating your win and taunting somebody with your win. Because yesterday, what the one ex handy pair were doing in the arena yesterday when they emerged, the winner of the custodian challenge wasn't celebrating. Guys, they were rubbing it in Ruti's face. They were like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but they can't do it. That was all they were doing. Telling her, in your face, I'm here. It's in your face. Because, guys, you already know, uh, immediately the life eviction show ended. That's how the Indian Nepal evicted. These two housemates had a little wasp boost, And that is what we are going to be talking here in this video. But before we do that, I just want to take this opportunity and welcome all of you, my amazing viewers. If this is your first time coming across my channel, all you have to do is to watch this video till the end. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever i drop a video and also share your thoughts at the end of the video and to my returning subscribers i want to say i appreciate all of you you are the reason why i do what i do why i wake up every morning and make sure i put out videos to keep you guys updated on everything that is going on in the big brother niger house so i appreciate all of you massive respect so let's get into the topic of today guys the was was between routine and when it is handy pair and the way they robbed their custodian win in her face. So during the life eviction show, Ibuka has had a uh, asked Ruti so a question regarding her conversation about the one ex and DP, where she felt like you talk about them, saying that you you are a straightforward person, that you tell people they are messed up in their face. But you've been discussing about one ex and and you haven't told them or called them out to their face. What happened? And Ruti stood on business. Ruti was like, No, Ibuka, I have on many occasions. When he have a, when he came to me to beg me for something twice, and I told her I won't give it to her because she is stingy and she is accusing Onyeka and also doing the same thing. So I have, and uh, I'm a ticking time bomb. She stepped on my foot, a couple of times, but I'm still waiting for the right time to explode. And guys, the right time came immediately after the life eviction show. Because one thing led to another thing. We were just paying attention to see how this out. To see how the housemate will react after the Indian Nepal was evicted. And out of the blue, guys, all we started hearing was Ruti, 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 Ruti. And come here, tell me, me, bitch, Ruti, 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 who we are the head of house before they left the show. So what is this whole noise? What is this whole noise? Well, they kept on shouting from the kitchen to the wash area back. Guys, I'm like, it's it it was messed up. Because we're watching the show. We don't even know what was going on. The housemate, they don't even know what was going on. Only Ruti and the one ex and the knew what was wrong. And at the end of the the letter explained to the housemate that they were busy doing their washing. And they uh, kind of started singing a song. I've forgotten the song they were singing about Devil is a Lie or something. It's a different thing if only look for trouble. Oh. We were here. We were here washing. When he was just washing, I just said, when you should talk, the boy you were saying, I want you to think, hey, me. who the fuck are you? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Who she? Bastard. And Ruti thought they were talking about her. So Ruti. With the, with the whole anger and uh, the pressure of the eviction, came and thought they were talking about her. And passed on the one ex and then was like, why don't you call my name? Say my name. If you feel like you are mature enough, if you feel like you can take the heat, call my name. You know, that kind of uh, threat. And one ex and then was like, look at this fly, you. It's all you. So I can't call your name, you. Ruti, you. And they decided, Ruti, 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 do something. Ruti, Ruti, Ruti. You know, that's what the X and D are gangsters. They are talks. Yes. We thought Fina was Ras. Fina was street. We say, what the X and D? No, these girls, they are street, but they are calm. If you see them walking 
you'll be like, oh, these people are so chill, they are so calm and collected. But if you just step on their toes, yeah, they go from zero to 1,000, just like this. And immediately Ruthie said that they, they switched up on Ruthie, calling her Ruthie, Ruthie, Ruthie. They, they called Ruthie for more than five minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Just calling Ruthie. Constantly, Ruthie, 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 do what you feel like you need to do. Ruthie, do. Ruthie was busy. I'm like, you said if they are mature enough or if they have their strength, they should call your name. They called your name. Do something. Do something, Ruthie. Ruthie was busy shouting. The house director separated them. They got ready for their custodian challenge. And during that custodian challenge, Big Brother played a game. Two games, actually. But uh, before that, Big Brother divided them into two separate batches. And the first batch came and they played the game. The winner of the first batch will face the winners of the second batch. And Big Brother played two games. And the first game, Big Brother called it a uh, pad break or something. So this game required this housemate. Big Brother set out four paths in the arena. And all they have to do is to walk in front of each other. Keep the pad in front of each other while walking on top of the pad without their feet touching the floor they have to move from point a to point b using the pad as a mode of transportation so after the whole pad race the winners of the pad race the first three housemates that went to point b first and flipped a disc one so these are the housemates that came in first three in no particular order guys routine when it acts handy and uh, better so Beta, when X Handy and the Flourish were the first pair to emerge the winner and go to point B. So the next batch, the housemate came in, Big Brother gave them the gave, gave the normal rules and regulations and then started the game by the sound of the buzzer. And after the whole game, the next pair that emerged winners were Nelita, the Streets, and then the Shakers. They were the winners of the second batch. So after that, Big Brother now introduced the second game that he called seesaw beam so big brother has set out a seesaw in the house and all this housemate need to do is to walk from point a walk the seesaw beam to point b gather different materials from that point b walk back the beam to point a and then once they are done getting all the materials that they need they will take a look at the picture that big brother has set out and then walk back to point A and replicate everything that they saw in that picture. And that picture, all they need to do is to build a tower. Guys, a tower. And here is the cache. After building the tower, the tower has to stand for at least three seconds. Three seconds, guys. So after the house built, we are done rushing, running helter skelter. Ben actually finished first. But his tower couldn't stand for three seconds, so his tower fell down. And the other hand was when X Handy building her tower gently, placing it one after the other, balancing everything, make sure that everything was balanced. Cool, calm, collected. Like I said, they are cool, calm, collected until you step on their toes. So after the whole building, she left her hand, and luckily for her, her tower stood for more than three minutes. In fact, throughout the course of them staying in the arena, the tower stood tall. Like Tower of Babylon, guys. Uh, so after that, Big Brother now congratulated them and announced them as the head of as the new custodian. And immediately they didn't even wait for Big Brother to announce them. Immediately they saw they won. This housemate, these girls started throwing gang sign. Yo, yo, started doing you some both sign. And I'm like, and then and then you just want custodian, yes, but Stop rubbing it in their face. And then my men went to. Remember they had a fight with Ruti. I'm like, yo, it clicked. The reason why they are doing this celebration is to rub it in Ruti's face. The only reason why they are doing this is to show Ruti. I am who I am. I am me. And in this house, you need to show me respect. Now, we don't know what is inside that box that they shows. But with my imagination and seeing how this show has been going, throughout the seasons i have an idea of what is inside the box and i'm going to share it with you guys so the first week dindin nepe was the custodian and they got saved only they saved the radicals second week which was sunday 
the streets got a vict only guys a vict only so they evicted the Indian Nepal. the third week if my imagination sounds right the thing that will be written on that screw come sunday will be replaced only and guys not that Ruti and DJ Flo, the flourish, has never been in the bottom four. They have never stood up. So the housemate has never voted for them. But seeing these words words that happened between Ruti and one ex handy pair, and then the one ex handy pair winning custodian that we don't know what is inside. Now let's play the devil's advocate. Imagine come Sunday life eviction show. This housemate, big brother, announces the bottom four. And then they open the scroll and it's replace one. Or replace only. And then they replace root, the fl uh, flourish with one of the housemates that are in the bottom four. And then just unluckily, the housemate votes out flourish. How will, how will root the feel? How will root the feel? And you as a viewer... How will you feel? Because I know how I will feel. I will be like, dang! That's a show. That, that, that's drama at its peak. So, let me know what are your feeling about this whole what's, what's going on in the house. And I look forward to seeing what this week will hold on. I look forward to seeing what this week has in stock for us and how this week is going to unravel. Guys, I'm just seeing you guys on the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.